So over the past two weeks, something unprecedented has been happening in Romania. The prime minister, who has the majority in the parliament and he's part of the opposition um, relating to the president, has changed law after law after law in order to be able to suspend and eventually impeach um, the Romanian president. We are here to give a signal that we are not agree with what's happening in Romania. We, don't, we want to, to have separation of power, we, we want to, for everyone to be equal before the law. We, we consider that, okay, if there are things that need to be corrected, they have to be corrected on the proper way, following the rules, obeying the law and stuff like that. Well, I believe there are some doubts now that Romania should be uh, allowed into the Schengen Treaty and the Schengen space. And uh, since we are in Europe and we should uh, respect the European standards, I couldn't blame those who, who think that maybe we're not ready for that. But I still believe that we should uh, fight for the democracy and to, to stay in the European um, Union as a, as a democratic country and not as a, a former uh, communist country. Our position is uh, becoming ever more fragile because of uh, the last uh, uh, events in Romania. Uh, we've just heard that uh, the, our entry into the Schengen zone might be postponed. Our, um, you know, the, the Commission was supposed to uh, have a report on, uh, you know, how the, the justice functions in Romania just now in July, but uh, apparently during, due, due to the last uh, uh, event, um, they're reconsidering their their report. So I think this terribly affects us and of course as a citizen also working abroad I am very much interested that my country um, is at a, an equal position with the other uh, EU member states and I think we would have a lot to gain if uh, Romanian politicians would just uh, start doing their job that uh, is to just defend Romania's interests and not their own. As a Romanian citizen I'm very angry about this because Romania in the past 20 years hasn't had the best image out there anyway. Now this is just confirming to many politicians from let's say Western countries that indeed Romania is not a real democracy, that the rule of law can can be undermined overnight and this is definitely something that makes me very angry and makes me makes me want to take action and and not just uh, report about it. I think honestly I think this is the biggest attack on democracy that politicians have done over the past 20 years in Romania.